and welcome back. I haven't uploaded for a little while because my husband passed away mid-November. Funny, he was born on Bastille Day, 14th of July, and he passed away on the 11th of November, Armistice Day. So he, it's been really sad and I, um, I've had my good days and bad days at the beginning. I just haven't been able to stop crying. And even just going into places like Sainsbury's or whatever, I would cry. And Christmas has been really bad for me. Um, today's quite a good day, but um, if I talk about him, it can trigger it. And I'm just crying. And I have my ups and down days. Things can trigger it. It's very hard to lose a partner. It's awful. But I had um, a lovely email that came in from his work and I wanted to read it to you. Basically he passed away, he had pneumonia and then he got sepsis and sepsis is really bad, I didn't realise how awful it is. And there's another two things, you know, talking about this virus, there's pneumonia and there's sepsis and he didn't even know, I didn't even know he had them, he didn't even know and I've spoken to so many people who've got who, who know people that have pneumonia and they don't know they have pneumonia. Sepsis as well kicks in really fast. There's just so many things out there and apart from this virus it's just a horrible horrible year but right now I want to share something positive with you. Um, this email came in from my husband's work and um, he left a legacy apparently and it was it says dear peter's family i was very sad to hear about peter this week i wanted you to know the legacy he left behind because he was a proactive and caring individual he met i met peter at a restaurant opening and he took an interest in my work letting charities use empty commercial spaces rent free until they're able to find a proper tenant. So without Peter taking an active interest and flying the flag for the charity sector, we would probably never have worked with other people in various places of London. Um, he helped, so it goes on to list the amount of charities that he helped um, and how they benefited, especially like book charities, um, um, paint and art materials that are given away free to school, it's a recycling art project, community groups um, and another place where um, they Peter helped save them from closure. So it says these are some of the examples of the charity work that has been possible because Peter went beyond the boundaries of his normal work and took an interest in what we do. If you'd like to know more or would like to speak about Peter's legacy through us, please feel free to contact me. Um, I wish you all all the best for the future. Regards, and I have his name, and he's a director of this charity. And yes, I am going to contact him. So. I feel that was really lovely and I've heard lots of other things that my husband did for charities and good work and all the things he did for people so on a positive note it's lovely hearing about all of that. But for me, going to sleep without him, waking up without him, it's like a smack in the face every time I wake up, very very difficult, very very hard. Um, very hard to live without someone who's been in your life for so long. Um, but what I've decided to do is I'm going to leave some little videos and photos up of him now. And I've done that before for somebody who died in another video of mine. And I'm sure a lot of other people do it in their videos. And I think it's going to be a nice way to remember my husband, Peter. Um, I'm sure it'll pop up in some other videos as well that I do. I hope you enjoy the little pictures I'm going to put up. Some of them when well, when he wasn't so well and some are when he is well. But it's nice to hear about the legacy that he left and 
the good work that he did. Thanks for listening. Say hello, Peter. Hello. It's a photo when Peter comes in of the boys. Okay, all your boys, when your dad comes in, boys. come and for me. Oh, I was going to pick the champagne. Oh, banana. <coughs> yeah, I can Somebody yeah. distribute the, the champagne glasses. Yeah. Well, this is the Buddha of that show. Okay. No, right there. Oh, this one's right. Sure. Sure. So you're going to have to join us for a wee little while. Oh, it spins. Oh, wow. It's a, what's yeah. it's, it, what it's a lazy Susan. It's a lazy Susan. Anthony. Come in. One can not see that. He saw someone with my heart. It's a good thing I didn't eat the avocado. Oh, Anthony, where's the glass for you? Say hello, Peter. Hello. You're at the airport. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Going to? I have no idea. Madeira. Hey, Madeira. What? Bye. 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 <laughs>